Good morning, Warriors. It's Brittany's fault. <laughs> Good morning. It is your fault. No, it, it, it's your fault too because you just got here. Ooh. <laughs> Good morning. How's everybody? Y'all so sweet. Good morning, Warrior Nation. Y'all, I'm telling you, this, this, mine's the apple juice. Ooh, it's a blessing. I still did it with my mouth. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sharon. Hello, Instagram Nation. <laughs> How's everybody this morning? Good morning, Regina. Good morning, Angel Cece. Hi, Tabitha. Hi, Veronica. Hello, Faith Christian Center of Vicksburg, Mississippi. What's up, everybody? It's Brittany's fault. We couldn't get the thing going. <laughs> What's everybody up to this morning? Y'all got the weather for me? Instagram, y'all y'all know I like to know what the weather is, right? <laughs> it's good to see you, too. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Tabitha, is it working today? Is it working today, y'all? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, with all that is within me. Let's praise his name this morning. On Instagram, I can do what? I'm saying, just tell Instagram, don't they can stay, but Facebook can. I don't know what Brit. yeah, I don't know anything. Yeah, did y'all understand what Brittany just said? Because I sure did. I'm saying, Instagram folks don't have to leave Instagram. No, we want people to stay on Instagram. We're going to grow Instagram, too. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> anyway, happy Friday, everyone. Oh, somebody somebody just said, I'm glad I can watch on Instagram. Now I don't have to wait for YouTube. Amen. That's right. We're we reaching some other people. But I understand what you were saying now. I just couldn't understand what you were saying a minute ago. With that being said, oh, Sharon, oh, y'all on your way to Texas. Okay. Well, safe travels on the road. It's 55 degrees in Yanceyville, North Carolina. Hello, Jacksonville, Florida. Instagram is 61 degrees, a high of 89. Thank you. Amen. Okay, y'all. Oh, no, Angel CC. She said I was scared. Face, it wasn't working. Thank God. We, I think we okay today. Um, Share the video. Instagram, y'all tell other people that we're going live on Instagram now. And let's go ahead and tell the Lord thank you this morning. Let's jump in. And I think I named this the God of Miracles because that's exactly who he is. I need an ink pen even though I don't write with it. I just like to play with it in my hand. Uh... Teresa, who just messaged me while I'm on my live video, she said the video's not working. Okay, join us on Instagram. We're on live. Okay, y'all, let's let's tell the Lord thank you. Let's type in our love notes this morning. Tell the Lord thank you. And then I got a couple things to announce. Um, y'all ready? Let's go in. Father, we thank you this morning. You're so good to us. Thank you for bringing the Warrior Nation back together once again before your throne. We stand shoulder to shoulder, crying out, Abba, Father, we love you. We worship you. We reverence you. We bless you. We magnify you. We exalt you. There is none like you, God. You have no rivals. You have no equals. You have no comparisons, Father. You are the God of miracles. You're the God of the supernatural. And we thank you for miracles are happening right now in the lives of the warrior nation. And we just thank you for your favor that is upon us, God. We just thank you for it this morning. And we just love you and bless you. We acknowledge that you are Jehovah Sick Canoe. Father, you're the righteous one. You're Jehovah Jireh. You provide for us. And because you are Jehovah Jireh, we call every need of the warrior nation met this morning. You're El Shaddai. You lack no good thing. You are bountiful and plenty. And we thank you, Father, that we serve a God who is more than enough and who has more than enough for us. We thank you for it this morning, God. We ask you to bless our time together. We thank you for this study in Daniel 4, 1 through 3 this morning. Have your way, Holy Spirit. I'm the vessel. You are the teacher. Our ears are inclined to your instructions and give us hearts that will obey, creating us clean hearts and renew the right spirits inside of us. Thank you for teaching us the power of prayer. Thank you for teaching us how to walk it out and how to live by example. Just anoint us even the more, increase us even the more, give us even a more of a fervency for you and to press in and be importunate in prayer, to press in until we see the manifestation of the promises that you have made to us, God. We love you this morning. We bless your name. And we just sit this petition in the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for it, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Good morning, Warrior Nation. How y'all doing this morning? Uh, it is 6.03. Don't worry. I won't keep you long. It's Friday, so we should be in a good mood anyway because we made it through another week together. Um, order your t-shirts. We are shipping out hundreds and hundreds of orders today. So um, I said it on the video earlier this week. You don't have to message me and ask me where's your order because I promise you it's coming. Um, you're going to get an email from the store site when your order has been shipped. So no worries. We, we are aware that you want your shirts and we want you to have your shirts. So we are working on getting 
a lot out and we will be shipping until we walk out the door for Ada, Oklahoma, which is exactly one week from today. Woo -woo! I'm so excited. This is day 14 of our 21 day liquid fast. I had to go back to my old glasses because my new glasses will not stay on my face. So um, with that being said, um, hang in there, y'all. He is the God of miracles, and we're going to see something. Whether you're in Ada next Friday night or you're praying with us next Friday night, you're going to see something, the miraculous. And also, a lot of people have been creating, like, prayer sales in your areas. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of warriors connecting with other warriors. And you guys who cannot come to Ada are actually meeting next Friday night, like, in small groups and praying. And, y'all, God is so pleased with that. Make sure you have your T-shirt on when you meet. God is so pleased with that. It just blesses my soul. Uh, one more thing I wanted to say is that my son, Christian, uh, takes the ACT this Saturday. So prayers for Christian. But I said that to say one of the warriors sent us a message, um, you know, about she wanted her son to have a T-shirt for the ACT on Saturday. And so when she said that, I was like, oh, Christian, he's going to his senior year of high school. I was like, he needs to have on a shirt for the ACT. So I texted him and I was like, Christian, wear your Miracles T-shirt on Saturday. He says, I already had planned to wear it, mama. I was like, ooh. Thank you, Jesus. He already knew to wear the shirt. So we get all kinds of testimonies, not just healing testimonies, but also people being blessed with like finding homes, getting a contract, buying a house, like all the same week. And anybody that bought a house that, you know, that's normally not how the process works. Um, people are passing their boards. People are wearing their shirts to uh, doctor's visits. They're mailing them to people um, in faith and need of healing. So all kinds of things are happening now. So we're not going to take the shirts down. Um, and like I said, we will mail as many of them out as we can before we leave for Ada. But I have a feeling there may be another surge when we get back from Ada. Who will want this shirt as a souvenir um, and things like that. So anyway, with that being said, make sure Brittany's posting the link for that. If today's your birthday, happy, happy, happy birthday. Your birthday warrior and your birthday is on a Friday. How awesome is that? And this evening at 7 p.m., we will be in Monroe, Louisiana. So if you're in that area, please come out. There's a registration, things you have to do. But the church is Power Church International. That's the women's conference. We'll be there at 7 p.m. So you guys pray for me concerning that. And um, just want to say thank you this morning to H2O Church. Uh, H2O Church is the church awesome people there who has partnered with us and Ada to bring this. If it was not for H2O Church, this would not be happening. We are in Mississippi. So they are doing like all the footwork, all the leg work. So H2O Church, we love you. Uh, Pastor Zach and Callie and the whole crew, Tyson and Chris and Bodie and Penny and Cammie and everybody there. LaShawn, thank you guys so much. We love you and we are super duper stoked to see you next week. So love you guys. Keep praying for Ada, y'all. Miracles in Ada and miracles are actually happening right now. With that being said, we're going to jump in this morning. Did I get everything? Except the weather. Oh, Lord. Uh oh, let me clear that up. People are requesting and are sending, they're sending money to sponsor other people. For shirts, like the warriors are stepping up and saying, Kelly, the Lord placed it on my heart. I'm going to send this amount of money. I want you to sponsor this many people with a shirt or whatever. If that's on your heart and you want to be a sponsor for some, look, I'm not asking for money. This is solely if you want to bless someone else, someone else with a t-shirt. If you want to do that, you can uh, send it. To, you can use PayPal and you can send it to give at kellylane.org. Put in the memo that this is for another warrior to have a shirt and we will find people to give the shirts to. We will bless people with the shirts. People message us all the time with testimonies and situations so we can turn right around and mail those shirts out to them. So if you want to do that, great. And thank you for those who just did it. We didn't ask. We didn't say anything. But people have started to do that. So I felt like I needed to announce that. And lastly, the weather today in Jackson, Mississippi, it is 68 degrees right now with a high of 85. Mostly sunny today. But we will have a few clouds this afternoon. Uh, the winds are light and variable. Uh, sunrise came up 5.53 a.m. It's going down at 8.07 p.m. And I think that's about it for today. All right, we're going in. And this is short. That's why I did a little talking at the beginning. Uh, Daniel 4, 1 through 3. He's the God of miracles. Type that in this morning. God, you're the God of miracles. Yes, happy birthday to your mother, Rose Guillory. Amen. Y'all, God is the God of miracles. Type it in. You are the God of miracles. You are the God of miracles. Make sure you share this video. Is it freezing, Brittany? Okay. Make sure you share this video this morning. We're going to go in. Thank you for praying for my son so he would pass the ACT with flying colors. Thank you. All right. Daniel 4, 1 through 3. Here we go. Kim, so, you know, we've talked about them. We've been fireproof. We won't break under pressure. I mean, we've just been talking about some great things this week in the book of Daniel. So, Dan Shared, Meshach, and Abednego, they, they've stepped out of the furnace. And we're going into um, chapter 4. This is actually penned by King Nebuchadnezzar. Um, so, this is 
King Nebuchadnezzar talking and Daniel decided to insert it into his story, which is how we are now reading it in the word of God. So beginning with one, King Nebuchadnezzar sent this message to the people of every race and nation and language throughout the world. Peace and prosperity to you. I want you all to know about the miraculous signs and wonders the Most High God has performed for me. I got to sign it. I got to say it one more time. I want you all to know about the miraculous signs and wonders the Most High God has performed for me. How great are his signs, how powerful his wonders. His kingdom will last forever. His rule through all generations. He is the God of miracles. So, this is the same King Nebuchadnezzar that wanted all of them to bow down and worship this gold statue that he made. This is the same King Nebuchadnezzar that uh, took captive Daniel and his friends from Israel and brought them over to Babylon to teach them the Chaldean way, to change everything they knew, including their names, you know, trying to take them out of the God and the practices that they knew and into these pagan practices because he wanted them to help him uh, rule and govern his kingdom. This is the same King Nebuchadnezzar that did not believe in the God, Daniel's God. And now we have in chapter four where he is saying, you know what? God with a capital G is the God of miracles. And it's like, because he has done so many things in my life, uh, because he's done so many things and allowed me to see it. Like, I think when he saw uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come out of that furnace untouched, he had no choice but to believe. And so this morning I was talking to Brittany. Because dad was still asleep, y'all. It was just me and Brittany this morning. And she showed up right before I turned the video on, y'all. I'm just telling y'all. Um, so I was talking to Brittany. And I said, you know, I want something so cool to happen. Like what's already happening. Like so many testimonies are coming in. But that we want something so cool to happen in every life of every warrior. That people who, the skeptics, people who don't believe... Like, they will have to believe. This is why uh, the Night of Miracles is so important. This is why I feel like God is going to allow it to spread. Because a lot of people don't believe. And remember, I keep saying that the miracles, they're great. We get excited when we read them. But I'm in no way, like, shocked when God does things. Because we know that God's the God of miracles. Type it in this morning. You are the God of miracles. I serve the God of miracles. He's the God that does amazing things. He's the God of the supernatural. And it's like, so when I hear these things, I'm not shocked. I'm very thankful. But most importantly, I feel like God does these things so that people, like in this example, King Nebuchadnezzar did not believe. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of that furnace, all the officials was like, you know, checking them out. Like, wait a minute, you know, you, you, you should have been burnt up. Like, what is going on? And it humbled them. And it's like when God does something so amazing in your life that it humbles people and it causes them to believe that's what it's really all about. That's why we desire so much to see the miracles because we already know God performs miracles. We know that God is faithful to his word. He wants over his word to perform it. But there are those who do not believe. There are those who are skeptical and say, this is not true. He's not real. This is not the case or whatever. But when something happens so awesome in your life. And these skeptics hear about it like, wait a minute. It's like King Nebuchadnezzar says, I want the whole world to hear it now. That he performs these amazing signs and wonders, the miraculous. Because God really is the God of miracles. And that's the one I wanted to focus on this morning. That God, you really are the God of miracles. And we just take him at his word. So we ask for the miracles, not just for ourselves or for personal gain. But so that those who are lost, those that, who do not know God, would say, you know what? There has to be a God. It has to be your God, the God that's in you, because there's no way this would have happened any other way. This is like the position that King Nebuchadnezzar is in. So he has gone from this high place where he worshiped all these other things to this humble place as an old, he's in advancing age now. He's seen a lot of things in his, in his rulership of more than 40 years. By this time, he has ruled for more than 40 years, and yet this has topped it off because he has seen Daniel's God, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God. He's seen his power. He's seen his miracles. And now he's like, I have to believe and serve in this. I have to believe this God, that this is the God of miracles. And so I wanted to mention also from yesterday, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the fire, and I told you how God's voice would divide the flames. He divided the flames for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he would divide the flames in our lives too. He parts red seas. You know, he turns water into wine and all that. Just signs, wonders, the miraculous. But the Chaldeans worship the fire. They worship the fire as an extension of like worshiping the sun. And so when they threw them into the furnace, you know, it was God's way of placing them in contempt of saying, you know what? I know that you worship the sun. I know that you worship the fire, but I'm going to show you who's in charge of the sun and the fire. That's the kind of God that we serve. The God who's all powerful, all knowing, all seeing and his kingdom 
last from everlasting to everlasting. And remember King Nebuchadnezzar's dream that Daniel gave him back, which was clearly a sign. When Daniel gave him that dream back, he told him, he was like, you know, your kingdom is going to fall, but there is a kingdom that is going to be established that will reign forever. So now it's like King Nebuchadnezzar is seeing that, you know what, this is true. This is really coming to pass. And that this God, the God of Daniel, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is truly the God of miracles. The God of which has the most amazing power that I cannot understand. And so with that being said, y'all type it in again. You are the God of miracles. And let's go into prayer. Go ahead and share the video, please, if you have it on Facebook, um, Instagram. Make sure you guys tell other people about it that we're now going live on Instagram. So we're looking forward to growing Instagram because that's something that I haven't spent a whole lot of time in. But like I said yesterday, we want to go wherever the people at. Because people need to be encouraged. People need to be inspired. And we're looking for the people who belong to our family, the Warrior Nation. So if we got to go to YouTube, we'll go over there too and go live. Because I believe there's more members of our family. We're one million strong. So we have to keep uh, making ourselves available so that more of our family members can join in. If you're new today and it's your first time, we love you. And welcome to the Warrior Nation. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, you humble King Nebuchadnezzar by your signs and wonders and your miracles. And Father, we thank you that today for any who do not believe, God, as our testimonies continue to pour in, it will humble them, that they will try you out for themselves. They will taste and see and they will realize that you really are good. And we just thank you for this one. And we thank you for Daniel 4, 1 through 3. Thank you, Father, that you are the God of miracles. And we just rejoice in that today. We take solace in the fact, God, that all power is in your hands, all control. You're the one who established the universe and you orchestrate it, Father. You're intimately involved in every part of it. And you are, as Tabitha always says, you're the God of the details. And we just thank you this morning that you care about even the the little things. Father, we bless your name this morning. Please go before my family, the warrior nation, to make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. God, I thank you they are safely out of the reach of their enemies. I thank you, Father, that we are fireproof, that we will not break under pressure. We thank you for God that we are stepping out of the fire. And when we do, all will see, God, that it is your hand that has been up on our lives. And all will see that you really are the God of miracles. Fathers, I have been praying every single morning for almost a year. Please enlarge the territories of the warrior nation. Please grant them favor. Please give them knowledge, wisdom, understanding, balanced judgment. Please open doors for them that no man can shut. Father, let them walk into a season that is just overflowing with a land that is overflowing with milk and honey, God. That all will know and see that you are with them, God, and that you are faithful to your people and to your promises. God, we thank you for this morning. Before we step out into this dark and perilous world, we armor up with the better truth around our waist, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Father. We wear sandals of peace. We care that shield of faith. Uh, we believe if nothing is too hard for you. Nothing's impossible for you. And the sword of spirit, which is your word that will be hidden in our hearts. Father, as we pray this morning for Avery, we thank you for her life. We thank you that it's because of her that we are coming together in Ada next Friday night. And God, thank you for her life, for this precious young lady. And God, we thank you that even now you are restoring her and giving her strength her strength and strength to her family. Father, we thank you for Jordan's strength this morning. He is a mouthpiece for you. We thank you for Shania this morning. God, thank you for what you're doing in her life. Thank you for her healing testimony that's already come forth. God, thank you for Jahai McMath this morning. We understand it's not over until you say it's over. We just believe in the miraculous. We believe in the supernatural. We still believe that you will shut the mouths of everyone who said not even a prayer. There's no prayer in the world that could bring her back. Oh God, we thank you this morning that you would just vindicate that statement in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for baby Tonto this morning, baby Mariah Grace and our precious London and baby Gabriel. And God, we thank you that God, you're healing and restoring them even now. And Lord, the yellow heart that we always post for Monica Sykes, her memory, God, we thank you for her life. And we thank you for the work that you've called her mother and her family to do. Please strengthen their hands for what is ahead, God, and just draw their hearts closer to you. And on those days when they doubt and they question, they're unsettled in their spirits, remind them, God, that all things really do work together for our good and that there is a higher purpose beyond this pain that are currently experiencing. So God, we thank you. A uh, Warrior Nation, whatever your prayer request is this morning, whatever you are believing God for this morning, or if you want to just tell them thank you, go ahead and let's take a few seconds to just type those in. Father, as the requests of your people are coming in this morning, as the praises of your people are coming in this morning, please bless them. We thank you that you're answering uh, these petitions in a way that will bring you the most glory and honor to your name. Father, we don't worry or wonder about if you will answer our prayers. We will stand in faith and keep believing until the manifestation occurs. So we thank you for this morning, God. We declare with our own mouth that today is going to be an amazingly great day. 
We thank you, Father, for good news that will happen today, acceptance letters that will happen today, board examination that will be passed today, uh, mortgages that will be paid off today, debt cancellations that will occur today, marriages that will be restored today, breakthroughs that will happen today, deliverance that will happen today, the supernatural happenings that will happen today, the miracles that will happen today, the Red Seas that you will part today, God, the flames that you will part for us today. We just thank you, Father, and we stand on your promise this morning. There is no God like our God. We thank you, Jesus. And it is your name that we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Warrior Nation, I so love you guys. <laughs> Just type in one more hallelujah before you go. Make sure you order your um, Ada t-shirts and your Miracle t-shirts, I guess I should say. And um, the weekend is up, so we'll see you again on Monday. Remember tonight I'll be in Monroe at 7 p.m. Please, y'all, we'll get the shirts out as quickly as we can, so just be mindful of that. Hang on if you're fasting. Hang in there. We're almost to the end, seven more days, and we're going to see something, y'all. <laughs> a fast is never in vain. So I love you guys. Instagram, I see how you guys are following along over there. Thank you. I see how it's already the views are going up, so thank you. I love you guys so much. Meet me back here Monday morning, same time. You guys have a great day. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Patricia says, thank you, Lord, for a sound from heaven and an outpouring of your spirit. Amen to that. And also remember, y'all, stay in faith with us that this night of miracles will spread across the nations and across the nations. Because people need to see the hand of God move and the world needs revival. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you back on Monday morning. Order your shirts and we'll get them out as soon as possible. Love y'all so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Jesus.